Let me introduce uh, the ISM program for economics and data analytics. Tade, what makes this program unique? Uh, what makes it unique? Uh, uh, uniqueness comes out of interdisciplinarity of this program because you can find many economics programs worldwide. You name it, at any university, you would find an economics program. Yes. It would be a classical economics uh, study uh, curriculum. Uh, however, in our case, we have not only economics, but we have also data analytics dimension. And besides that, we have computer programming or you could call it coding or to a certain extent software development uh, dimension within this program. So I think those who would decide to study in this program would benefit a lot. Right, so it's not just uh, economics, it's also data analytics and there's a computer aspect to it as well. Yeah, that's for sure. And um, those who graduate, they are able to communicate uh, with computer engineers, software development engineers on professional level. Wow, that, that really makes it definitely unique. Uh, Yovita, what, what made you choose this program? Actually, it was not easy to choose uh, what study area uh, to choose. And while studying at a school, I was studying at International Baccalaureate Program where I had economic classes. So I realized that economics covers more than one field, including, including geography, psychology, math, and so on. And I felt that economics interests me. And to be honest, at that moment, I didn't know anything about data analytics. So I came to this program just because I felt interest in economics and data analytics, I didn't know. You didn't know? Yes. How do you feel about data analytics now? Uh, well, <laughs> right now, I'm working as a decision scientist at Vinted and use the data analytics in my daily job. So for now, I'm passionate about data analytics and I feel that in the near future, I will expand my knowledge there and continue my journey. Let's say you are a student. You're thinking, should I go for this? program? Is it for me? Uh, Help them answer this question. Uh, the main uh, characteristic uh, would be that you would have to be hardworking student. Hardworking. Uh, that's, that's the key. Discipline, attitude towards uh, dedicated studies, because, um, you know, since it creates a high value, it also demands a high effort studying. Why? Because it contains mathematics. The way we deliver mathematics is different from school. Many students who join this program, they immediately realize it. And many of them say that it is not as challenging as studying in school. Tadi, can you give us some examples of where do your students go to work after finishing this program? Company names. Sure. Uh, just to name some companies, Svetbank, Lithuanian Bank or Lietuvos Bankas. Uh, Maxima, some of the brand name that everyone, uh, every, everyone perhaps would know. Uh, there are some companies that perhaps not everyone would know, but those are global companies. For example, PricewaterhouseCoopers, KPMG. Those are the business consulting companies that operate worldwide. But not limited to that, Vinted, our unicorn, our uh, company that became uh, global, has quite a few alumni and currently studying students of, uh, within this program. Furthermore, I, I must mention that some graduates of this program choose academic career. So, so we have uh, graduates of um, uh, Oxford, Cambridge, uh, that decide to enroll to those top universities worldwide. Is there any course in particular or, or something, a lecture, that left you, you know, an impression on you, that left you with a good impression? Yes, I would separate the courses into types. Uh, ones are more related with economics and others with data analytics. Right. So talking about economics, the greatest impression left subjects such as financial markets and institutions, international economics and trade, because of international professors who made the lessons entertaining. And talking about data analytics, subjects such as data mining for business intelligence, 
together with artificial intelligence and machine learning are the ones you can, uh, which you can uh, apply in practice. And this makes you even more motivated to study them. Tade, um, just making this a broad question, what do students, once they're done with this program, once they graduate, get their diploma, what can they do? Where do they work? What are the options? Usually, what do you see? Well, you could, uh, you could decide uh, to start and continue your career in private corporate uh, world, in industries mm -hmm. and businesses, um, production, trade, services, you name it. Besides that, governmental sector, uh, public organization, public sector is, in, uh, is having very high demand for such competences. Why? Because there is more and more data the driven decision making right what do students like do just for anybody at school trying to understand what sort of like a position i could be going for once i finish well uh, directly or indirectly uh, you can uh, see yourself as a decision maker mm -hmm. so that means top managerial positions okay why because everywhere in decision making you you need to make cost benefit analysis yeah. okay so in general, managerial position, that's an opportunity. Um, if you are in analytics, so any job that involves analytics, uh, manipulating data, applying uh, econometric statistic uh, methods, this is a job for you. Um, also, uh, so far, uh, the dominating sectors that students decide to, to start and try out their first steps in, in their career, uh, is in finance, in banking, uh, in fintech, uh, finance technology, those uh, new um, approach applying startups, um, insurance, auditing, accounting, um, production services, again. Um, those competences are rather universal that you gain within this program. So um, I would... Um, find it challenging to identify the sector that your knowledge wouldn't be relevant okay. in. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's very well said. Um, maybe just shifting it once more, a lot of uh, students in, in school are interested. What about studying abroad? Is that an option? ISM has over 100 university partners worldwide. Latin America, North America, Asia, uh, European Union, we cover the globe with our partnerships, so opportunities are out there. Uh, the most popular mode of going abroad is um, a studies exchange semester. Yeah. So usually starting from the third semester, you could decide to go and try out studies in the other university. Usually you study very similar courses that you would study here at ISM, but uh, you will find out you will learn about different uh, learning environment, yeah. cultural environment, also, well, social, economic, and political environments. That would definitely broaden and deepen your uh, mindset, your way of viewing things. And there are quite many students that use this opportunity, and we are so much glad that uh, this makes them happy. Um, Yavita, final question. What makes studying at ISM special? I would simply put that studies are interesting. The lectures are not monotonic. They invite you to discuss, uh, to think analytically about the topics. And as already mentioned, the material is up to date. What is happening not only in the industry, but in the real world in general. Okay, sounds good. So this was the introduction for economics and data analytics, the program at ISM University.